today we're going to be working on our Fast and Furious Integra and that is because we got another piece to the puzzle, another movie accurate part. It is the new speed rear sway bar and tie bar. Um, this was for a Honda Civic he said on eBay but the differences are very minimal and with the right brackets I think we can make this work. So what we got here is a subframe brace for the rear as well as same some OEM GSR uh, sway bar mount brackets and some energy suspension for a 22 millimeter sway bar. Um, this is important as well because it said it had a energy suspension or energy like bushing kit so I thought that was kind of cool as well to have but then we have our new speed sway bar and tie bar. This is 10 times more beefier than the stock one. The stock one was honestly really thin so I'm happy to be going from that to this because I think that will stiffen up the rear sway uh, quite a bit. But uh, now I'll just hop on in there and get off the stock one as well as the brackets and see if we can't make this one fit on the car. Thankfully I've already gone ahead and removed the sway bar, so this is going to go pretty easy with just removing these brackets, but we got basically four 13 millimeter bolts and uh, the sway bar comes right off. Hey guys, so turns out that we had to remove these uh, bolts here, which uh, kind of or tied to the suspension there. So make sure you have a jack stand or jack to kind of support this while you remove these. These are a real pain in the butt because they're kind of like grooved like that so they're like stuck in there but you can get them with uh, some peer pressure. So now that we got those out we can get these this part mocked up into place. Uh, you'll have to screw on these brackets on the back. They just have two Phillips on both sides. And then you also will need these brackets that I'll show you where they go once we get back into the car. First thing we're going to need to do is take these brackets. If you notice how these are indented here, that's because they go on the inside with a bolt that's there. So let me show you. So you take this behind here and line it up where it kind of will sit on top of these holes that are currently here. And then we take this guy. on top of that. Honestly, if you want to bolt those ones in first, that bracket doesn't really, uh, it's not really screwed to this, it just sits onto the outside of that bolt that it's being, like this one goes to. So at least then that will kind of hold it up into place for you. Everything bolted up underneath the car for the subframe brace as well as the sway bar. And uh, it's a little dark under here at the moment, but you should be able to get kind of an idea of what we're going with here. Uh, stays true to the colorway, of course. That's why I went with the red subframe brace. I was debating on painting it black just because um, I think this is something like a little newer that they didn't really have back in the day. So uh, I think I also might kind of replace the sway bar, but correct me if I'm wrong, 
either way, it allowed me to mock up that new speed sway bar that was that was said to be for Civic. So I'm happy that that all worked out. So using stock OEM GSR uh, sway bar mounts with the 22 millimeter bushings will allow you to run that sway bar. So last thing we gotta do is hook up those sway bar end links and uh, throw on the tie bar just because I forgot the bracket for this. So I have to run home and get that. But before we close out here, I think it's time to put on the sticker. So let's transform that basic sway bar back into a new speed sway bar. It's the small details for me guys. guys that basically does it for today's video we made this car one more step closer to being fully accurate to the hero car by adding in that new speed rear sway bar as well as that uh, subframe mount or brace so uh, if you guys find this video helpful for you or just pretty interesting please make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button turn on post notifications that way we can help make this channel bigger and better every day together and in the next video, guys, we're going to be jumping onto the other Fast and Furious car because we got a big surprise waiting for that one. So be sure to hit that post notification so you know when that next video goes live. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, that basically does it for today's video. Uh, we made it.